Hi there, I'm Carrie from Simple Bird Applique Studio. We've designed a, um, a wall hanging to be hand appliqued by the, for the ultimate beginner. Um, this is the first pattern and I hope you're a little puzzled. Uh, the pattern is called Peggy's Puzzle. In this block, you are going to learn how to do stems, circles, and how to stitch. In this block alone, there are 49 circles. So by the time you're finished with it, you're going to be a pro. This quilt is done as a skill builder. So you're going to learn those three skills for this block. And on the next block, you're going to build on those skills. With hand applique, you need a certain amount of products. Um, the first thing you need is a pressing board. This is a one inch piece of wood that has just been covered with a piece of fabric on it. It has to be a hard surface. The next thing you'll need is a mini iron. This is my favorite mini iron. It's the Petite Press. It, um, it heats up very fast and it feels very substantial in your hand. It's very comfortable in your hand. You will need a quarter inch bias maker. Um, all of the stems in this block are made with this bias maker. We make all our circles with Karen K. Buckley's Perfect Circles. These are mylar shapes that are, um, that are used to make our circles. They don't melt and I'm going to show you how to use those. Another product by Karen K. Buckley are these Perfect Scissors. If you haven't discovered them yet, you'll want to get yourself a pair of these. The edges are serrated, so they actually grab onto the fabric as you're cutting. These thimble pads are for the end of your finger, so that when you're stitching, you're not poking a hole through, the, um, through your finger with the needle. I trace all of my um, block with, um, with a blue water-soluble marker made by Clover. Thread. I like to use Mettler Thread 60 weight, which is the green label. I match all of my, my um, fabrics that I'm appliquing onto with the thread. So I use purple thread for purple fabric, green thread for green fabric, and gray for all other fabrics that you really can't match up with any color. I use Roxanne's glue to place all of my shapes onto the background fabric. Um, I find it easier if I switch the glue over to this bottle. It just is easier to squeeze and the, um, the cap doesn't get plugged as easy. And last you'll need some applique needles. These are, are short needles and very sharp and very easy to stitch with. And the key ingredient to this type of applique is a stiletto. It's a piece of wood with a sharp point at the end of it and I'm going to show you how to use this and become a pro at hand applique.